Today we got a request to review My Firefly Garden. And there were a couple things that were specific about this request. I'm going to do an overall website review and then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, traffic and, and target audience. So let's take a quick look at the website. First off, I, I love the, the homepage. Uh, I think that this image here is just uh, unnecessary. You kind of already have a, a really good high quality image of what your, your product is. And this, this is lower resolution. It doesn't really add much to it. I, I'd probably just get rid of the second image here so that you go directly from one image right down to what you are about. And then you can, you know, keep this cute image of the, you know, the, the cat there if you'd like. It does take up a lot of space. Um, it's, it's up to you, but I, I don't think that this other image is necessary. It just makes a, a lot more scrolling involved. So let's take a look at your footer now. So it's great that you have, you know, a little, little short blurb about what you are and, and what makes you you, which is great. Uh, your quick links look great and uh, you do have a newsletter sign up, which is awesome. There's uh, also a pop-up that happens when, you know, when you, you go to leave the store in order to encourage your customers to sign up for your newsletter. Uh, the, the one thing that I see missing here is your social media links. And this is how you're really going to be able to reach out, uh, especially to, you know, your target audience and actually get appropriate traffic to your store. So make sure that you have, you know, Facebook, Pinterest, into Instagram. You can, you know, sell through all of those different channels through Shopify for free. Um, you, you know, it, it just expands your, your reach. And uh, you, you really need to build up a bit of a following in order to get a little bit more recognition to your site. So now let's look at your header. So uh, I do love how it's set up and uh, the, the color scheme and everything like that. What I don't like is that right off the bat you have Christmas guarantee. This is just a static page about, you know, saying that we'll, we'll make sure we get it before Christmas as long as it's submitted before November 14th. I mean, that, that's a great guarantee to have but that's not what you want everybody to look at when they first hit your site. You want them to be able to go right to shopping and you want to make this a bit more clear. So I would personally recommend removing this from the header. Um, you can add that, or I think it's already in the footer there. Yeah. So I'd, I'd probably, you know, maybe keep that there. Um, it's, it's tricky because by putting Christmas guarantee there, you're really turning your product into a seasonal product. And seasonal products are, are obviously difficult outside of that season. Um, the, the type of products that you're, you're selling are these, um, you know, light up trees. And I, I think that you could really start marketing this more as a, um, like more as an urban product, like urban living, that sort of thing. Because right now you're really targeting a, a specific season and you, you want to make sure that you're outside of that, unless that's the only thing you're going for, in which case, you know, you're, you're not going to really get a lot of sales outside of, you know, three months of the year. Next thing I notice is that in your header here, you have track your tree, which brings you to, you know, an order tracker, which is nice, but it, it completely pulls your audience away from your store. If I were you, I'd recommend if you, you should have a track your order uh, part, which would be great but I'd highly recommend editing the, uh, the hyperlink so that it opens in a new tab. Uh, I'll, I'll show you, there's a couple things that I'm gonna show you about what your store can look like. Uh, so I'll get into that a little bit later on. First off, let's take a look at your product page. So here we have the Blossom uh, Bliss Pink. Now it seems like you only have four products total and that you know, you're able to view, oh, sorry, six products I mean, and uh, you're able to view all six of those different products via the different the different uh, style drop downs here, um, which, which is not bad. Uh, just know that six is not a lot of product to be selling, uh, and and you know you're kind of going to be selling to much more of a niche marketplace. I there are things that I like about your your product description, and things that I don't like. So first off, I am I'm very happy that you know the the variance, quantity, and add to cart are right at the top, as well as the price and review. Um, it, I see a lot of st uh, stores that have you know product description you know in between here and here, and you know it's it's very hard to get to the add to cart. So I'm glad that this is at the top. That being said, I think you've put too much into your description here. 
you want to clean this up a little bit and make sure that it's more to the point. You, uh, you also have, like, these are great links down here. Um, I really do like this about this particular theme because it answers a lot of questions while keeping things very compact. Again, the Christmas guarantee right at the start is going to make you very much more seasonal. Uh, you might want to add and remove the Christmas guarantee aspect of your store depending on the time of year. Um, or you might want to just keep it in your footer so that you don't limit yourself, even when people are, are searching for your product in the Christmas season, so that they know that they can purchase your product for other people outside of the Christmas season. Uh, it's good that you have the, uh, the ability for people to, to share and post it. And it's good that you have customer reviews. That being said, they're all five out of five, which starts to make customers a little bit suspicious about the validity of your customer reviews. So you might want to take a look at that just because it, it does seem kind of strange. Uh, you know, if I, if I was a uh, customer, you know, I'd be, okay, you know, it's great that there's lots of people that are interested, but I want to view a, a review that is a poor review or a, you know, mediocre review to see what, you know, a customer didn't like about your product. So now let's take a quick look at your website SEO. So for your homepage, this is what uh, people would see when they search it on Google. So, uh, you know, you have a title, but your description is, is just simply your title again. Uh, you can edit this on the back end of your Shopify store by going to online store and then preferences. You really want to have this filled out to, you know, around 100 characters. I always say, you know, top three things, uh, keywords, length, and comprehension. So you want to make sure they include a lot of keywords that defines what sort of products you're selling and what your target uh, audience is as well as uh, anything else that, that really defines you as being unique or what people would be searching for on Google if they were to try and find your store. So that's one, two, you wanna make sure that it's, uh, it's limited to around 100 characters, anything past that in Google starts to put less emphasis on it. Um, and, and it also just gets cut off at, after a certain point. Third point, it's, uh, it has to be comprehensible to your average individual, it has to make sense. So you definitely need to update that description. Uh, you might also want to put like some sort of tag here, like my Firefly Garden, you know, providing blah, 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 blah. Um, you could just leave it as is, that's fine. And you could just update, you know, that sort of thing in your description. Like I said, your, your target audience, you could put that as, you know, more of an urban living sort of thing, as opposed to, you know, a, a seasonal, you know, Christmas sort of uh, product set. So if we take a look at the SEO for one of your particular products, it's, uh, it's a, sim a similar situation. So by default, Shopify grabs your product description and turns that into your product SEO. So you want to go into this product on your back end, scroll to the bottom, click on edit SEO and edit this so that it makes sense and it's targeting your audience that you're looking to obtain. So like I said, nothing wrong with this, but you do need to update the description because that's how you're going to be able to have Google, um, you know, get the audience that, that you're looking for. Okay, so target audience. This is one thing that you mentioned was uh, difficulty. You're getting traffic, but you're not getting conversions. And I've, throughout this video, I've, I've kind of talked a lot about how you're, you're making yourself very much a, a seasonal product. Um, and I really think that you should step away from that and try and find what your tar target audience could be. Like I said, I think that urban living is a, a great means of going there and you might want to adjust your your website to better reflect that. Um, you uh, you want to make sure that your SEO is up to date like a, like we discussed. Make sure that your you know your social media links those are active and able to sell on it. So I mentioned some changes that you could do to your site. So let's take a look and see what your site could look like. So you can see that I've updated the header so that right away has shop now as well as track your order as opposed to, you know, track your trigger or whichever it was before. And uh, it cleans things up a little bit. I got rid of that second image so that it goes right from your first image to a little bit about you. We do the other image, then the favorites, and then you're at the footer of your, your website. Another thing that I did is within your header, I made your, your track your order a a hyperlink that creates a new tab. So when I click on this, 
it opens a new tab and I'm brought to this other website, but I can always click on the previous tab and you know it's it's back to your site. So if somebody that clicks out on accident or wants to see what it looks like, then you know it, it you they can always click that back on the other tab and, and just close this quickly. So there are a couple things that you can do to improve your website's target audience and to ensure that Google has properly processed your website. I would highly recommend that you submit your sitemap to Google. If you go to the Shopify Help Center and you know if you're, you just Google Shopify Help Center, uh, submit sitemap to Google, they have uh, great resources on exactly how to do that. You can also activate uh, Google Analytics within your store. This will be useful in finding what kind of people are coming to your store and where they're going. So that can help you as well. You could also do something like a, uh, a heat map, which uh, is basically, it just shows you where people are clicking within your site and uh, it will help give you a bit of um, insight as to you know, what you can improve upon, where you're, what, what people are clicking on and, and what they are interested in or, or what they leave at. You know, so if, if a customer comes in, clicks a couple things and then leaves, you can at least see you know, okay, well, where do they go to? Where's my traffic being directed to? Aside from all that, the best thing I can recommend is social media. You know, it, you can sell through it. It's it's uh, you know, a great way to market as well as the, you know, the Facebook ads. You just really need to make sure that your website SEO and your website itself truly reflect the, reflect the target audience that you're going for and try and make sure that you pull yourself out of this, you know, seasonal seasonal store sort of feeling. That's my best recommendation. I really hope that it helps increase your, your conversions. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time.